Hello, it's Noelle again, and it's been a little while. Uh, I've had a very long week. Um, I was in the hospital last week, and I also had the ACT, and my channel got deleted. But, um, yeah, we're back now. It's just been quite a bit of time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, um, a candle out of an orange. So yeah, let's do it. The first thing you're going to need is an orange, or multiple oranges if you're like me. <laughs> but you only need one, or seven, or twelve. And some kind of vegetable oil or olive oil, some kind of oil. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is take like a knife or something and cut all the way around the edge of the orange. I had to get a new one because mine got messed up. Just slide your knife or your thumb. I'm just using a tool because we have one. Um, but your knife or your thumb underneath the edge of the peel to loosen it. Okay, so once you're done, it should all be loose all the way around the edge. You should be able to fit your finger under it. Now you're just going to twist the peel gently, so twist it opposite directions. And then, if you did it right, you should be able to pull gently and it should come off in perfect chunks. And you can do that with the other side as well. Now we have our orange just come off. Number one, this is great for when you're peeling just regular oranges and trying to eat them because it's so much easier. But then now you have two halves of an orange. Now the important part here is that you leave these little spindle stick things. I don't know if you can see that. There are this little stick thing. That is going to be the wick of the candle. So make sure it stays attached. So if you can't get it out on the first try, hopefully you have more than one orange. <laughs> All right, so next what you're going to need is something to hold the rind in while it's a candle. So I'm going to use this just little ramekin bowl thing because the orange fits in it nicely and it looks cute when it's done. So, but you could use any type of bowl or plate, just don't leave it standing on its own because oranges are not very stable. So, so once you put it in the bowl, you're going to need to grab your olive oil or your cooking oil or vegetable oil or whatever oil you've got. So I'm just using the like canola oil because that's what we have. Just pour enough into the bottom to cover most of the little stem wick thing. So you can see I filled it up to about that line, you can see it, the darker line, and then I also soaked this because that's what's actually going to let it burn. Okay, so now you're just going to take your matches or your lighter and just light the wick. It may take a second for it to actually catch if it doesn't have enough oil on it. And there you go. So this is after several minutes, and now it's a full candle, and it's really quite cool. <laughs> all right, so just having an orange candle is great and all, but what we're going to do next is make a lid for the candle. So what you're gonna do is take the other half of your orange that you peeled, and you're going to scrape the inside of it with like a melon spoon, or at least that's what I'm using, because I've found it works the best. So you're just going to scrape it down like this and get out all that inside white stuff, basically until you can see these little polka dots. All right, so now that you've done that, it should look kind of like this. See how you can see the, like, the um, outer like pores of the orange are showing through? So it's relatively thin. So what you're gonna do is take a knife 
and cut out a hole in the top just big enough for like the smoke to get out so just like that all right so then just take the lid that you made and set it on the top and now you have an orange candle If you put the lids on them they would be super cool or I mean with even fat lids but with the lids they'd be super cool with a like a for a barbecue or like an outdoor party at night they'd be super cool I think the longest we've burned one of these candles is like eight hours and then we just blew it out because we were too lazy to wait for it to burn all the way down so yeah they last a super long time basically as long as the oil level in it lasts so yeah, that's kind of great. The one downside to them is that they do smell like the type of oil that you're burning. So if you have some kind of like scented oil, like a lavender oil, you could do... I've never actually tried that. Oh my gosh. But yeah, you could burn like lavender oil or some other kind of oil with it and then it would smell like that. But currently if you're burning it with vegetable oil, it's just going to burn and smell like vegetable oil. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you make an orange candle. It's really simple and it's really fun and kind of impressive to show your friends. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned. Just twist. Uh oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Never mind, don't do that.